Welcome back. <clears throat> um, today I'm just going to go over a, an updated version of the best attack methods. There's been a lot of updates since some of my other videos that I posted. So today I'm just going to show you what is working for me. And I'm going to show you on one of my war opponents. Uh, the three units that I like to use are uh, one is the Minotaur, um, the Spearmen also give an extra offensive boost, they damage the opponent's um, towers and get through their barricades uh, a lot quicker than if you were to just use the minotaurs by themselves and <clears throat> the other one that I recommend is the trebuchet because the trebuchet is needed to take out the nyx towers and it's also useful against people that have parallel have their defenses um, set up in the parallel so you can take out um, barricades and towers on the opposite path um, one new th change in terms of the powers is that I no longer use healing anymore um, the main reason for that is because I find Pandora's box is more useful uh, what Pandora's box is great for is getting rid of the enemy troops um, especially if they have Medusas and uh, the sirens with their buffs um, they can stack up and get really really irritating and hard to get rid of so that's another reason why I use Pandora's box. It's, um, I think it's the most powerful offensive spell there is. Um, Athena's might be more powerful, but mine's only level one. I've only just leveled her up not long ago. So let's get down to an attack, and I'll show you the method that I use. <clears throat> the main thing to watch out for is um, you want to go into defensive mode against these Lapidus Towers uh, especially if you hit them at the beginning because you've got with the setup you've got no healing and they really take out your spearmen and your minotaurs pretty quickly So you just want to stay in defensive mode for a while, let your troops build up. You can use uh, Talos, um, Talos is actually a good spell to use. But um, I just prefer Pandora's box. I think it takes out the enemy units a lot, a lot better. Now we're going to come out of defensive mode now. Once your numbers get to a certain level, it doesn't really matter if you lose a few, a few troops here and there. because you've got the numbers to actually be able to to handle that
<clears throat> but even at this stage here you still want to keep an eye out for those Lepidostels. Go into defensive mode whenever you feel like you're going to get hit by one. It's off and on, off and on. <clears throat> Also, the, um, I forget the name of them, but the fireball towers, the ones that sh shoot the little exploding pellets, um, you want to watch out for those as well. So here we should have plenty of numbers here, this is where the spearmen do a great job at taking out the uh, defender, and they take down that door very quick as well. just show one more attack using my newly acquired Athena and she has four powers she starts with four powers um, so that means you're you can equip the healing ability as well So when you're choosing a hero you you pretty much just want to make sure you've got someone that's got three uh, three slots for their for their army slots and also you want at least three powers as well. Again, you just want to make use of that defensive mode whenever you feel like you need to. Just wait for those Lepitos towers to be destroyed. I think defensively you want to put those Lepitos towers on the sides as well and have them pointing um, perpendicular to the path. If you have them facing straight towards the enemy, that tends to be where they get hit the least. There's a there's a gap in between it.
another thing some people like to do is try to lure the ancient defender to the side as I failed to do here but if you get there fast enough you can lure him to the side and have your units attack the gate just buys you a little bit more time if you need it Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, catch us later.